Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to do part two of making the black walnut nochino, which is a lovely nutty liqueur made from wild black walnuts. So it's October now. Last time I met you guys on the YouTube with uh, making the nochino was back in July. So here we are in October. So we're about three months uh, into the maceration of the um, chopped up wild black walnuts in the vodka. So we're gonna check that out today and do part two of making the black walnuts nochino liqueur. Some of you may be out now foraging for black walnuts for the, the nuts themselves, the pits uh, inside the uh, black walnuts. And here are some here you can take a look at. So here's some black walnuts that I harvested uh, when they were ripened. So that's basically now in October. Um, it's a lot of work actually to process the black walnut. So I did a video on this a few years back. Uh, it's really uh, hard work actually to take the husks off, clean up the nut, and then let these guys dry so they can be preserved. These are excellent uh, in baked goods. Um, the nuts themselves, uh, the nut meat is actually really hard to extract from the black walnut but it is worth it at the end of the day, I promise you. So I'm all set up here in the backyard to work on the Nocino, and here it is. This has been allowed to macerate for three months. Um, I think the longer the better. Anywhere between two and four months, it's fine. So you can see how black it is. Last time it was just clear vodka over top of the black walnut. So we'll let the flavors infuse into the vodka. And now today I'm gonna to be straining out the pieces of black walnut and adding some sugar. So we're gonna be adding uh, maple syrup from the cabin to sweeten up the nochino and then we'll let the nochino um, sit for another two months to two years basically uh, to age but I'm going to try it this Christmas let's not kid ourselves so I'm going to open this up and have a little smell and see what it smells like it's starting to come out at me here oh that smells really good yeah I don't know how to describe the smell to you guys Maybe slightly nutty, but maybe I'm just reaching. Doesn't smell bad at all. I'm really excited about this. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna strain out the walnut pieces here. I've got a strainer and we're gonna put it into a measuring cup, a large measuring cup, because I wanna kind of um, you know mix the sugars with the maple syrup into it. And I'm gonna test it a little bit, just taste test it a little bit, just to see um, if I'm happy with the level of sweetness. Now, a lot of people will make a simple syrup and just mix a simple syrup in with it, which is basically sugar and water solution. I'm just gonna use maple syrup because why not? Um, it just makes it like comp a liqueur completely from the trees. So uh, I kind of like that idea. All right, let's get started. So I have my um, measuring cup set up here and I've got a funnel and I've got another little tiny uh, strainer right here just to catch all the chunks. And I'm gonna pour the nochino in here. The goal is just to get the vodka out and leave the chunks of the um, walnuts in the strainer. So I'm trying not to spill or waste any of this. And we'll see how much we have. Oh, look at that. Kind of like a greeny black color. There we go. All right, so there we go. I've got a little bit more. I was able to um, have a little bit more of this. Uh, I found some vodka and I made a half jar. So let's use that too. That oh, smells good too. Mix that in. There we go. Whoop. All right. Got all of it out. Whoa, I got exactly pretty much a liter. Just shy of a liter. Very good. So there you go. Look how uh, black that is. It's got a blackish greeny tinge to it. So basically I've got just shy of a liter. Um, so what I want to do is add probably about almost two cups of maple syrup to it. I don't know if I'm going to go that high with it. Um, but I'll, maybe I'll start off with a cup and we'll kind of see how it tastes. And then maybe I'll add a second one after that. You kind of want that sweet nutty flavor. It will have a bit of a bitter um, taste to it originally. When you try it because the tannins are still fairly strong, over the months to the years, the tannin, um, that kind of bitterness, it decreases over time. So let's give this a whirl, see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna measure out a cup of maple syrup. Now this is from the cabin, this is my my end of season maple syrup so it's nice and rich colored there nice 
amber color. Put it in a cup. All right, so we're gonna put a cup in here and really try not to spill it. This stuff is precious to me. Don't wanna waste it. <laughs> And then as I uh, add in the um, vodka with the uh, black walnut, I'm just going to kind of stir as I go. Mix it all up. Ooh, it's going to be good. Oh, wow, look at that. All right, let's give this a little taste test. All right, cheers. Let's give this a try. So this is one cup into about a liter of uh, the uh, Mochino. Oh, that's really nice. I will add more. I think it does need that extra cup of maple syrup. Mmm, that's really good. You know what? I think leaving it to macerate a little bit longer, I don't think it's as bitter. I can taste a little bit of the bitter tannins in the back of my mouth, but not like crazy. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is add another cup of maple syrup. Definitely. Okay, so I've added um, an extra cup of maple syrup. So two cups of maple syrup to about a liter um, of my little black walnut extract there. Let's uh, have a taste. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't want to go too crazy with the sweetness because then I think it's going to taste really awful. So it definitely has to age a lot more to get rid of the tannin, um, the bitterness, but this is going to be great. This is a great digestive. Like when this is ready, this will be a great digestive, um, a great liqueur that you could kind of drizzle over, you know, ice cream, have for dessert. Uh, this is really going to be good. I'm pretty excited about this. So now you can put the Nocino into you know, pretty fancy jars. You want to give it away. I'm just going to kind of put them in my, uh, my wide mouth mason jars and uh, let them age a bit longer. You can try it and, you know, drink it within two weeks, but I highly recommend waiting many months. Some people even wait one to two years before uh, enjoying the Nocino. Well, I managed to find a, a little maple syrup container that I hadn't used and I put the remainder in there. So it fits actually really perfectly. Um, there you go. So all you gotta do is label it now and put it in a cool place. Um, in a pantry, dark, cool place, and just let it mature. And uh, if you harvest the black walnuts this time of year, you'll have lovely stuff for bacon at Christmas. So next time we'll taste test this, we'll be in December and we'll see how it tastes. I'm really, really excited. Well, December can't come soon enough. I cannot wait to try the black walnut nochino. It's really fun to make, really easy, and very easy to forage for the black walnuts. Just remember to look for them mid to end June uh, to beginning of July. That's when I got mine. And uh, it is a process, but so worth it at the end of the day. Well, I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos, especially when we open this up for my Wild DM Christmas special in December. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.